YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Noonie, and today I'm gonna be doing a 22 inch straight wig installation on my head. So, this is my first time for real doing a voiceover. So, if I mess up, excuse me, but I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm at. So, I'm taking the wig off and I'm gonna put the wig onto my head, but first, I'm gonna y'all, I dropped the blow dryer on my foot. But first, I'm going to um, bobby pin my braids to my head. As you see, I'm doing that. So, when I'm done doing that, you can see in the back that it don't really matter how you pin it. Because I'm not doing the 360 lace. I'm just doing the frontal lace. And so, the back really don't matter. It's going to be covered up anyways. But... So I will be putting the wig on from the back, or like upside down, backwards, all that. You know what I'm trying to say. So I'm on the ground flipping it up. Here we go. Okay, I had to put the clips in the back of my head. But yeah, I'm gonna clip the two clips in the top, in the top, in the front of my head. It's gonna be one on each side. I'm gonna clip those in just so it can be secured because. Either way it go, it can still fall off, but just so you can, like, at least know that it's something holding it up under there and not just the glue that you put on your head. So now, I'm going to, like, put the lace up to my skin and just show y'all that it's almost my skin tone, but it's a little, like, brighter. And in some spots, it's going to be a little, like, a gray-looking lace. And I honestly think this is a gray lace, but to me, it seems like it looks more natural on my skin tone than like lighter skin or darker skin. So people that don't prefer gray lace, don't get it. But I feel like if I did this on somebody else, I wouldn't like it on them. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I can't do nothing with it. I can't really lighten it or darken it for real. And all I did was spray some like tanning spray on the scalp part. But... I'm just gonna brush my hair out and then after I'm done brushing it I'm gonna eventually put the glue on the sides of my head but you're gonna keep watching to see so now I'm going to pull my hair back so I can have a better grip when I'm applying the lace and y'all gonna keep watching keep watching keep watching but yeah so I'm just gonna tie that back however it don't really matter and then I'm gonna pull the lace down to see and measure it up. Ooh, my scalp was itching my bad job. <laughs> so I'm going to pull the lace down to see if it matches my hairline or covers my hairline good enough and see if I need to cut it anywhere. If not, I'm gonna continue with the process. And I cut this lace before already. I'm just making a video on the hair already. I just had this in my head, but I'm gonna redo it and show y'all how I put it in and everything. But you start from left to right. Ooh, then you're going to need a blow dryer. And then you're going to need some guys to be glue and a comb. I'm moving super duper slow. Yeah, they're on your comb. And then you're going to need some guys to be glue. And then you set to do this. If this if You can use glue too, but I use guys to be glue. Only because I'm not keeping it in long. I always take my um, wigs off like ASAP. So you start from left to right. And I'm doing this wrong. I start off with got to be glue. Edge control. The holding gel. And I put that down to hold the wig down. So yeah. So since the got to be glue gel is directly on your edges, I prefer blow drying it on cool only because I just want to protect my edges as best as I can when I'm violating them. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of them some kind of way. But I adjusted the camera, but I'm going to eventually switch positions because I couldn't do it without the mirror. Like I really needed this mirror, but 
I usually start left to right. That's when I realize I'm like, I really need a mirror because I'm only doing the middle because I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't do it without the mirror. So, I'm just going to blow dry that down after spraying it with the Gossipy glue. And then I switched right here. So, I was talking, but we ain't going to worry about that video. So, basically, I was just telling y'all I couldn't do it without, you know what I'm saying, without the, um, mirror so i'm in the mirror right now and i'm just gonna redo the whole install on the side and then the other side as well i think i actually did that side yeah i finished that side but i'm gonna do the other side on camera because you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show y'all y'all see me do installs before anyways it's the same process i just be more patient with it now so keep watching i'm be back so I laid down the other edges and the side part. Now I'm gone. I'm having trouble putting down the other side. So this is what I do. I take the edges that I already cut and everything and I hold them down as like a it's like a guider and it helps me like melt the scalp, melt the lace to the scalp almost. So I'm just gonna spray the gossip glue onto it while I'm holding the edges straight down. And then I'm gonna blow dry it. As you can see, well, you can't see it right now, but if you've seen already, like earlier, I put the guys to be glue on and it dried up. So I'm just reapplying it in, in the spots that I need to put it in and mostly in that sideburn part because that part always lift in like 24-7. It, it be lifting the most like when I'm doing my edges, that part always coming up. So we just going to spray that down with some guys to be glue on top of the gel. But how was y'all day? I feel like talking to y'all. I don't feel like stopping this voice record. Comment below how was y'all day and let me know. Because I'm going to post this the day that I recorded it, which is today, which is Wednesday. But yeah. After blow drying it, I'm going to use my Nairobi mousse. And I'm going to use my edge control brush to try to slay these edges. Y'all, it took me a minute, so I did, I did some of it off camera. Just to like make it shorter because it's not hard to do your edges. It just when you want to perfect them or get them to a certain way, you got to take your time in, and it was going to take too long just to do some edges on camera. You know what I'm saying? So I just let that be off camera. Mark at the E. 
Mark got that E on. So, I'm just gonna fire it in her until I let you all let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna do the other side and then take this off. YouTube so I was recording and I thought I was recording but my battery I mean my storage went low so it didn't record it but I was talking to y'all and I was saying some really important stuff and I don't remember what I was saying I don't know if it was important either but basically I had fixed this part because it was lifting and I just showed y'all what I did I put this on I melted it down with this and some edge control and I just melted it down and then I fixed my edges when I took the scarf off and then I melted this with a hot comb. But it's kind of already melted because I already did it, you know. And I thought I was recording. So. But this is the end of the video, y'all. I'm going to do a, um quick wave tutorial so and I want the hair to I want my quick wave to look like this only reason why I don't want to do it though is because I'm going to have to fire my leave out and, and y'all know me I mean if some of y'all that do know me like personally I'm doing the um I'm going natural like all the way I'm already I've been natural all my life but I mean I'm going like transitioning from heat damage to curl so I don't know if this going to mess up my heat damage process but I don't know, so we gonna have to see what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet for sure if I'm gonna do it, but I might do it on somebody else. They don't mind me flat out of their hair, but I'm gonna show y'all how I do a quick weave and then just talk about it. I mean, we can talk about it when the time comes, when the video comes. But this is the end of the video. Y'all see it. If you want this hair I'm wearing, you can purchase it in the description below. I am wearing Eula's 22 inch silky black straight hair. I mean, I don't know if it's black. It's like a natural color. But I think it's a false um, a fake scalp. I don't know. But I bleached the knots and then I have sprayed some lace tint on it. And it looks like a fake scalp. So I would recommend this 100%. So yeah, everybody that's been asking me to do this video, like people are like, oh, why you don't show a video on how you do this? One? But I think people really just like this one because when I did my edges, like especially on this side, it looked kind of bad now because I couldn't do, I couldn't remake the whole look all the way. But I tried. But like when I had my edges, it was like swoop, 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 and then swoop, swoop, swoop. So people was like, oh, that look cute. Can you can you do a video on that one? And here it is. So whoever requested this, I hope you watch this video because this was mainly for you and for promo. But this promo was like, you know what I'm saying? I won't even go um gas it up like that, but you know what I'm saying? Hair is hair, but this hair is awesome. Like this hair is different. And it's, it feels like my real hair, like it looked like I got a quick I mean a sew in or something. Like if you watch my old video where I had a sew in, it looked just like this. And that's why I'm like, oh, I like this hair look like a sewing and I don't have to fight out my real hair. So, I've messed with this hair a lot. I'm really irritated with this piece though. It was like this last time and I tried to fix it this time, but it's still doing the same thing. 
but it is not the hair, it's me. So yeah, I think I plucked too much because I had plucked this part but left these parts out and then I shouldn't have even plucked it. I should have just left it alone. But this is the end of the video, dear babes. I let y'all be stay blessed. We got a video dropping sometime next week. Um, I dropped the videos for this week. Um, besides this video, this is going to be the last video I dropped this week and then I got some more coming next week because I'm going to be busy Friday and Saturday and then I might record on Sunday and post sometime that week, you know. Stay tuned, dear babes. I love y'all. Peace. Stay blessed.